The overall goal of this protocol is to identify the optimum electroporation conditions for transfecting primary cell lines, using mouse embryonic fibroblasts, or MEFs, as an example. MEF cells and nucleic acid of choice are loaded into a 96-well electroporation plate attached to the gene pulsar MX cell system, which allows for the testing of multiple electroporation conditions in a single run for optimization experiments. Cells are cultured post-electroporation and analyzed for transfection efficiency using epifluorescent microscopy and flow cytometry. The most efficient electroporation conditions can then be selected for future transfections. Hi, I'm Adam McCoy, Senior Scientist at the Gene Expression Division at BioRad Laboratories. Today, we'll show you a procedure for easily identifying the best electroporation conditions for transfecting primary cell lines. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study gene expression in these cells. Today, I'll be using three different passage numbers of MEFs, or mouse embryonic fibroblasts. I'm using different passage number cultures for two reasons. First, I will show how important cell health is with primary cell lines. Even just a few extra days in culture can make a difference to transfection efficiency. Second, I want to show that the process of identifying the best conditions is the same, even though the efficiency of transfection drops off with the older cells. Your experiment probably won't involve different ages of cells. You can follow the same procedure with your own experimental design. If you want to compare gene expression in control and treated cells, you can first find the best conditions and then do your experiment using the conditions you've identified. Or, you can do your optimization and experiment together, like I will demonstrate today. I'll be using a GFP encoding plasmid to look at transfection efficiency by flow cytometry. But the electroporation procedure would be the same even if you're doing something different like introducing siRNA.